Hey guys, welcome to Waters Family Homestead. Well, it's the end of the week. I was out here throwing some scratch to the chickens and tried to collect the eggs and I had a wine dot in there on top of the eggs in the nest and she acted like she didn't want to get up so I just set the basket on top of the rabbit box and decided I'd you know go ahead and throw the scratch out and when she get done I'd go get the eggs. Well, <laughs> I guess I might better not do that. You see them scattered all across the run today. They're all spread out. But anywho, I came over here and I threw a, about a half a scoop up here and a half a scoop back here. And they were all out here doing it. So I'm like, all right, I'll check and see if she's done. And I looked and she was out here scratching right about where that wine dot is. And I'm like, well, dang, I'll go ahead and get the eggs. She's done. <laughs> so I went in there and got the eggs. And I was 17. I'm like, well, that's a good day. And I'm walking out of the run, and there's an egg laying on the ground right here. She literally got up to come out and get the scratch and laid her egg out here on the ground so she didn't miss any of the scratch. <laughs> and they're finishing off the little bit right there. <laughs> That's the first time I had a hen get up that was trying to lay an egg. <laughs> they must like that scratch a whole lot more. But see, she's going, that, that one's going to the, the same nest. But I done took the egg, so 17 today, unless there's another one or two laid before dark, but I doubt it. <laughs> if, I, if I had a hen that would get broody and set on them, I'd let them set on them. It looks like... That one may be ready to, to lay another one. <laughs> but anywho, so I had seven, uh, 16 and I picked the one up off the ground at 17 and looks like this hen's trying to get up in there and lay her an, another egg, which will make an 18 day, which will tie with the best day I've had. So I like how that when they spread all out across the whole pen, it gives them plenty of room to scratching bugs and eat grass and I might throw another little scoop out there in a little bit because they sure ate that pretty quick their feeders all have feed in them they're at least half full if not two-thirds three-quarters so <laughs> chasing old teenage rooster ain't they he trying to get away from them he come down here by me because he knows they'll quit chasing him down here. Now look, daddy getting after that one. Look at him. Daddy said, I do the chasing around here. <laughs> they are some funny creatures. Well, I hope y'all had a good week and having a good day. Maybe uh, it rained most of the day today, so maybe I'll get some stuff done tomorrow. It'd be nice if I could get the grass cut and get the oil and stuff changed on the Yanmar tractor and see what it'll do. Mike could, Mike could hook up to the bottom plow and make a few passes and, and get over there and drop it and let it set for a little bit, go back and hook up to the harrow and see if I can't get a little bit harrowed in the garden. Just to break it up, I've got a few tarps. I can just regular tarps. I don't have them fancy garden tarps, but I can get out there and lay them down and cover it up and let it get ready for planting. I'm probably late for South Georgia, but we've actually got a low forecasted in the mid 30s next week. So we've got another cool snap, at least one more coming. <laughs> they are funny. Either way, I'm going to try to get some stuff done this weekend if the weather and time allows it. I'll try to do a little bit of video recording for you guys. Make a video of working on the Yanmar and maybe plowing and harrowing the ground if I can get that far and all that. We'll just see 
We'll see if God allows the plans to work out. But uh, either way, I appreciate y'all watching the videos and subscribing to the channel. If you're not already following the channel or subscribe to the channel, please do that. It helps my channel grow, and I do appreciate it. Y'all remember what I always tell you. Jesus loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.